Hi Grade Teens. Um, in this session I'm going to be going through um, some conversions that are used in your electrostatics section. Um, for this, whenever you see millicoulombs, it will be shown as a small m and a capital C. You have to convert it to coulombs before doing substitutions. So your conversions must be done before substitutions and you must memorize all of these um, numbers over here. So 10 to the minus 3 goes with millicoulombs. Microcoulombs, 10 to the minus 6. Nanocoulombs is times 10 to the power of minus 9. And picocoulombs is times 10 to the minus 12 coulombs. So I'm going to do four examples with you on how to change all of those to convert them from millicoulombs to coulombs before you substitute into your equations. Again, this is not taught explicitly in your textbook, but you should be remembering these from your earlier sections. So over here, if we have seven millicoulombs and we need to change it to coulombs, we're simply going to substitute that into where the milli is. So we would go 7, and instead of small m, c, we would go times 10 to the power of minus 3 coulombs. If we wanted to convert 9 micro coulombs into coulombs, we would go 9 times 10 to the power of 6 coulombs. So we are just substituting in that bit over there for where the macro would normally be. For nanocoulombs to coulombs, the conversion is times 10 to the power of minus 9. So we would write down 2 times 10 to the power of minus 9 coulombs. For picocoulombs, we substitute in the times 10 to the power of minus 12. So 4 picocoulombs is the same as 4 times 10 to the power of minus 12 coulombs. I hope this helps. Please remember that these conversions should be shown somewhere on your paper before you start writing down your formula, substituting in and working out your answers. You also must memorize that milli is times 10 to the power of minus 3. Micro is 6. Nano is 9. And pico is 12. Don't forget they are minus as well.